A professional fighter by trade, looking to find some balance in his life outside of competitions, led to Ray Rodriguez opening up a training gym. Uh, me and a partner of mine, Travis Windhorse, we were talking, uh, maybe we've been talking for about two years now, and we really wanted to bring some positivity to the south side of San Antonio. So we just wanted to give people of San Antonio an outlet to come train, um, take all their worries away, and just be able to put everything they have here on the mat. At the outset, the name of the gym, Ultimate Submission Academy, sounds intimidating. But it's a place founded on the premise of helping to teach kids mixed martial arts and much more. One thing that we really want to spread is not only the beautiful art of jiu-jitsu, but um, uh, discipline and, and, and minding your manners. We have 10 magical words that we go through every day and we make sure that we tell them to uh, not only mind those or utilize those 10 magical words on the mat, but off the mat as well, inside the gym and outside the gym. So our 10 magical words are uh, yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. Uh, thank you, you're welcome, please, I'm sorry, excuse me, and OS. So OS is a, it's a universal, universal martial art word and it can pretty much mean anything. These kids might not go on to become professional fighters, but Rodriguez sees an opportunity to help mold them for whatever path they choose. As far as me being a role model, yeah, I believe it's super important that I'm doing the right things at all times because a lot of these kids are looking up to me as, as their head coach and expect um, excellence for me. Um, so I tend to try my hardest to make sure I'm showing them the exact respect that, that I expect from them. Ultimate Submission Academy has only been open for a couple of months, but it's already seen rapid growth due to the personal style of Rodriguez and his fellow coaches. I like being able to talk to every single one of my students um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I usually pick about two or three students after every class and just kind of talk to them about how, the, how their day was or something as simple as what they ate for lunch, you know. But I think that's important, uh, especially for uh, students or kids who don't have that male role model to be able just to make those touches and just be like, I'm here for you uh, no matter what, you know, and you always have a friend in me. And just because I'm your coach doesn't mean I'm not your friend. The gym continues to grow, but that hasn't slowed down the professional aspirations for the man they call the judge. We'll have more in the coming weeks on Rodriguez's ascension up the MMA ranks. With Sports Tonight, I'm Mike Lefko. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.